I know there are so many big stories, but here's another one. Oregon lawmakers right now are talking about expelling Republican Representative Mike Nearman from the legislature, kicking him out. And apparently he's expecting this to happen. So let's back up a little bit. Last December, surveillance video caught Nearman opening a side door of Oregon's Capitol, letting far right protesters into the building. It happened during a one day special session. And you can see, and you've probably seen before, these protesters were pushed back out by state troopers. They didn't get very far. In April, Nearman was criminally charged with misconduct and trespassing over this. So the question has always been, did he do that on purpose or was it a coincidental wrong place, wrong time? He just had to leave. He opened a door. Oh, no, look what happened sort of thing. Well, on Friday, OPB dug up a video that helped answer that question. It shows Representative Nearman speaking to a group of people less than a week before he opened that door and someone asked him about the Capitol being closed to the public. And this is what he said. We're talking about setting up Operation Hall Pass, which I don't know anything about. And if you accuse me of knowing something about it, I'll deny it. But there would be some person's cell phone, which might be not. That is just random numbers that I spewed up. That's not anybody's actual cell phone. And if you say I'm at the West entrance during the session and text to that number there, that somebody might exit that door while you're standing there. But I don't know anything about that. I don't have anything to do with that. And if I did, I wouldn't say that I did. OK, so he mentioned the west entrance of the Capitol, which was indeed the same door that he was caught on camera opening to those protesters. I also, by the way, called the phone number he gave back on Friday and I got an outgoing voicemail message that said this is Mike Nearman's voicemail. So it seems that is his phone number. Now, since that new video has come to light, things have happened pretty fast. House Speaker Tina Kotek, who had already called for Nearman to resign, is appointing a special committee to consider whether Nearman should be expelled from the legislature. To do that, they need a two thirds vote, which means it has to be bipartisan. And it's looking like it will be. House Republican leader Christine Drazen released a statement today saying, quote, all House Republicans have called on Representative Nearman to resign. We have to hold ourselves to a higher standard in elected life and his actions do not meet that standard. Now, up until this point, we really haven't heard anything from Nearman, except for on that video. He's never returned our calls or emails, but apparently he did return Lars Larson's because he appeared on his show today and he said this. On Friday morning, they'll vote to expel me, and I believe they have the votes to expel me. I'll be, uh, the state of Oregon was founded in 1859, and since then, the House of Representatives has not seen fit to expel a single member and so I will be the first. So someday you're going to be watching Jeopardy and somebody's going to say, who is Mike Nearman? And that's going to be the right answer to that. OK, so Nearman is not only expecting to get kicked out of the Oregon legislature, but he's actually making light of it on the radio. And he told Lars that he will, quote, pay the price for his, quote, civil disobedience. But he also called Speaker Kotek drunk with power. He didn't say anything about plans to resign. So we will, of course, keep watching what happens this week and keep you posted.